Hey and welcome back. Ever since the last man walked on the moon, whatever happened to lunar bases? Well, we've had them ever since. Yes, there are bases on the moon, but not what you expect. The moon is littered with scientific experiments, all unmanned. But the moon is still the ideal high ground. And there's a new audacious plan to build a radio telescope on the dark side of the moon. Let me tell you about it. This is LCRT, the Lunar Crater Radio Telescope. Ever since we lost Arecibo, the idea of using a natural crater as the dish for a radio telescope has been envisaged in other parts of the world. China have built one. But just imagine building a radio telescope on the moon. A team of scientists have cleared another hurdle to building a much larger radio telescope. They've got a grant to build the Lunar Crater Radio Telescope. This telescope, just like Arecibo, will be built in a natural depression, but on the moon. And not on the surface of the moon that faces Earth, but on the deep, dark side. Ever since China's Change 4 successfully landed on the moon in January 2019, it proves one thing. It can be done. And how are they going to build it? The idea is to deploy space robots. To build a half mile wide radio telescope in one of the several proposed craters on the far side of the moon. The telescope itself will be made of wire mesh. Do Axel is a robot concept under development that would consist of two tethered rovers one would stay on the edge and the other would travel down into the crater to build the telescope. Then a wire mesh would be delivered and unfolded and dragged up the walls of the crater and anchored on the rim. The design and deployment of the wire mesh will be a challenge because it must be strong, flexible and lightweight. It also has to maintain the parabolic shape for the telescope to work. And all of this in a temperature of minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit. But it can be done and has long been a dream of space visionaries. A radio telescope on the moon's far side would have many advantages over a similar instrument on Earth. The largest on Earth is fast in China, but our ionosphere blocks Earth-bound telescopes from seeing wavelengths longer than 33 feet or 10 meters. The moon would allow the longer radio wavelengths to reach the telescope. And the far side of the moon is an excellent site for this telescope because it blocks all radio chatter emitted from Earth. And it blocks any interference from our sun. One of the scientists involved in the project said, it opens up a whole part of the universe that we can't see. That's the time when the CMB, or Cosmic Microwave Background, was produced. But the CMB still holds many mysteries. 
The main one for me is the relationship between the early universe and what we observe today. And the Lunar Crater Radio Telescope might hold the answer to secrets about why our universe looks as it does today. The team's gonna spend the next couple of years developing the idea, and it hopes their dreams of a large radio telescope will come to life and reveal secrets of the early universe. They do face an extra challenge. How do you get the radio telescope's data back to Earth? Because you'll remember from the Apollo era, the dark side of the moon is in radio silence. But this could be fixed with a satellite orbiting the moon and relaying the telescope's information back to Earth. So do we currently have bases on the moon? Yes. And will this proposed radio telescope be amazing? Oh yes, the truth is out there. So how do I find stories like this and amazing images? There's one secret I'd like to tell you about, and that is get NordVPN and it opens up the world to you. Images from America, stories from Europe, and secret scientific data from China. It's all available if you get a VPN. Sign up today with this code, Prof Simon, and get an amazing deal off your copy of NordVPN.